it is the time in between. A time between death and new life. Today we take a moment to be, to grieve, to mourn, to reflect, to weep, to lament. I invite you to take this time to be with the followers and family of Christ who struggled in fear and grief in the unknown of tomorrow. We come to pray. Our prayer is woven of scripture, silence, and song. In your short time of silent reflection, keep in mind those who just witnessed the murder of the Messiah. Be still in the presence of God as the Holy Spirit opens our hearts to receive the word that is our refuge and our strength. In our sighs too deep for words, we breathe prayer to God. Be still. Rest in the darkness of this holy Saturday, for God is near. A reading from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. A reading from Psalm 55. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am troubled in my complaint. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the clamor of the wicked. For they bring trouble upon me. And in anger, they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me. And horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Truly, I would flee far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. Selah, I would hurry to find a shelter for myself from the raging wind and tempest.
a reading from Psalm 77. I cry aloud to God. Aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. Selah, you keep my eyelids from closing. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? Selah. And I say it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. Let us pray. Holy God, creator of heaven and earth, you neither faint nor grow weary. Your wisdom is beyond our understanding. Receive our prayers as you have promised. Give courage to the faint and strength to the powerless. Lift up those who fall renew the weak and weary, and bring us at last into the light of the bright morning star, Jesus, your Son, our Savior. Amen.